Good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, I'm not counting anymore. How many uh, cafe talk we've had? Uh, but this is organized by the Rubismo project. Rubismo, where it's an EU project. We are coming to the end of the three and a half years now, and we studied innovative uh, rural business models, or yeah, innovative business models in rural areas, uh, and. So yeah, can we go to the next slide, please, uh, Pablo? And uh, this yes. cycle of cafe talks yeah. we've had uh, in March. So we, we looked a bit more at the, the what we call the business environments and what uh, clusters the, the the positive side with uh, clusters. Then we looked more at the the business environment uh, last week. And today we will have a presentation on the the role of cooperatives in uh, business. Uh, models in rural areas and just before we I hand over to Pablo and Susana from Spanish Coop I'd just like to give you a, a reminder that next week we will have the virtual study visit and we'll go to Pomac Bazancourt which is a biorefinery in France and uh, has in, yeah, implemented um, some really cool uh, measures to include the, the bioeconomy and circular economy in their in their business model. So that will be for next week. But with no more words, uh, Pablo and Susana, the floor is yours. Thank you, Justin. I will switch off uh, my camera to ensure a good connection. So uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to start saying that both Susana and I work for Agri-Food Cooperatives of Spain which is an organization that represents the interest of Spanish agri-food cooperatives, both at national and European level. I will start setting the context and providing relevant figures of the cooperative movement, mainly for Spain, but uh, also for Europe. Um, afterwards, my colleague Susana will go in deep on the cooperative business model and its strengths. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to, to start my presentation uh, explaining you how our organization works in Spain. Even if we work for the cooperative interest, you must understand that uh, since the farmers and leaf farmers are their owners, ultimately they are our bosses. Therefore, um, these farmers are on the top of this inverted pyramid that you can see here, gathered in cooperatives which are represented in Spain by 17 cooperative federations that are located in each of the Spanish regions. Our organization is the, the General Confederation of Cooperatives, which, as I have said, represents the interests of the cooperatives at national and, and European level. Uh, Justin. I think there is some noise in the background. I would appreciate if you could silence them. Thank you. Um, so I, as, uh, I was saying uh, we represent the interests of the cooperatives at national and European level. Um, our headquarters are located in, in Madrid, in Spain. Um, we also have an office in Brussels within the Copa Coyecas uh, headquarters that, as you know, this is the, the organization that represents the interests of both farmers and cooperatives at a European level. Okay, so uh, moving to the next slide. Uh, in this map, you can see the different federations of cooperatives that I was saying that work at regional level um, and in this one, um, we are missing here uh, from the Canary Island and Navarre uh, cooperatives. Um, but we also have uh, them um, associated with us. Um, uh, I, I would like to, to explain you that darker dots represent the uh, second degree cooperatives, which are cooperatives that agglutinate several first degree cooperatives, and the lighter ones represent first degree cooperatives, 
which are cooperatives that can work by their own or in collaboration with others within a second degree cooperative. At the European level, you can see that the cooperative movement um, that gathers more members uh, with their cooperatives is the one for Germany, followed by Austria and, and Spain. If we take a look on the overall relevance of uh, the agriculture production at European level, we can appreciate that uh, those countries that have higher contribution of agriculture sectors to national GDP are located mainly in the eastern part of Europe, uh, with the exception of Spain. As you know, lower degrees of contribution of agriculture to the, of the agriculture sector are linked with higher rates of um, economic development. So I guess these are not good news for Spanish economy, but they are for Spanish agriculture. Uh, however, if we consider the relevance of agricultural employment, Spain shows a much better figure since lower rate of employment indicates higher efficiency rates. By the other hand, as you can see, most Eastern countries still require a considerable number of workers in their holdings. Okay, so now I will show you Spanish agri-food cooperative trends over the last year so you can understand how the cooperative movement has evolved. First, uh, even if we represent several types of legal entities, 90% of them are first and second degree cooperatives, which I have already explained uh, how they work. Um, in the next chart, you can appreciate a slight downward trend over the last few years in terms of a number of cooperatives. However, if we watch uh, this chart, you can notice that the cooperative billing has increased by almost 60% in the same years. So that's a good sign because it implies that our cooperatives are starting to merge uh, within each other in bigger ones. And therefore uh, they are in a, in a stronger position now. Regarding the, the main sectors in Spain, you can observe that the, the ones with a higher average uh, billing are the pork and fruits and vegetable ones. Even if uh, fruits and vegetables and olive oil sector top 10 cooperatives have much higher uh, uh, billings than the ones from the other sectors. Looking at the cooperative employment, it, uh, you can see that it has slowly raised um, during the last year as the cooperative size was also increasing. And in the next map, uh, you can see that I, at European level, the French cooperative movement generates uh, more employment and it is followed by Germany and, and Spain. And finally, regarding uh, internationalization main figures, you can see that Spanish cooperative exports represent 80%, 18% of total like the food sector billing, excluding the fishing sector, and that the, the rate of exporting cooperatives versus total cooperatives in Spain is placed at 30%. And the exports billing, it's uh, as you can see here at uh, 32% regarding the total cooperative billing. Um, so that was all from my side. Uh, I give the floor to my colleague Susanna, who, who will explain you the, the main features and strengths of cooperatives and why they represent successful business models. Thank you, Susanna. Uh, you are muted. No. No. Uh, could you see my screen? Yes, but it's, it's not in full screen. Now. Yeah. No. Yes. Perfect. Well, uh, thank you for for allowing us today to be here 
uh, thinking about cooperatives, well, after having some figures on the table, we will move, now move on to, to the concept of cooperatives. Uh, we have heard about, uh, about it many, many times, but do we know what is a, what's a cooperative company? Uh, a cooperative company is it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nothing more than a company or a type of company which, like any other, uh, produce or, 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 or goods and services and supplies and has to generate profit, has to be competitive in the market, and has, has to compete in the market. Uh, and the moment it does not generate profits and it's not competitive, it's no longer a cooperative. But but apart from these characteristics, uh, uh, it has very important. It has a very important particularity. Uh, speaking about the, the 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 owners, because the the is owned by by its members. So they are in the center of the on the of the conception of, of a cooperative. Members who, in addition to being members, are also uh, suppliers of the cooperative, and besides, are its customers and workers. So, as you can see in this slide, they plan play an important role uh, in this in this concept. So, we will see later on uh, what all is this implies. Um, the cooperative formula is, is widespread internationally, as you can see in this slide. That's, there is an international cooperative alliance with since, since uh, 1995, sorry, set out the seven principles that identify cooperatives. We are not going to, to go through the its 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 principle, but uh, we will highlight some of them, such as voluntary membership, democratic participation, and training for the members, and above all commitment to the community because the compromise with the community in rural areas is very strong in terms of cooperativism um, as you can see in the in the in the in the low part of this slide among the 300 most important cooperatives almost 35 of them are from the food sector so uh, it's, it's a, an important and relevant a figure for the cooperativism in terms of of, of agri food sector. But apart from this, uh, what is the market situation in which we we, we find today? Uh, as you know, today we are exposed to multiple effects of great importance that are without any doubt conditioning our business models from the globalization of the economy. Uh, Although in this, this case, it comes sometimes present opportunities to climate change and sustainability, which are imposing us obligations uh, that require us to invest some sometimes imply limitations, the bioeconomy, the circular economy. But uh, we are also uh, facing the challenge of belonging to a sector that in most cases is highly fragmented at Mm, at is therefore a victim of the imbalance on the, in the food chains. Um, all of these uh, effects are also aggravated by the, the population of rural areas and the lack of generation, generation, generational replacements. Uh, in this way, um, in this context, we have an expectant consumer who is asking us for uh, uh, efficiency for nutritional uh, improvements and something something like this. So, um, speaking about cooperatives and business models, we can we can uh, think about the the reality because all of these market issues do not take into account the cost that the producer may incur. One of the challenges that uh, we have now on the table is the sustainability. Certainly, it's a challenge with a wide perspective that is environmental, but also uh, social, but also economic. So, can a producer face it alone? Will be the market pay for this effort? We have two questions on the table that we will try to answer 
with the with other additional questions such as why is the cooperative enterprise an optimal choice for a producer uh, in fact no business, business formula ensures the success of a business model but its characteristics can sometimes have a positive influence and in this way a cooperative gives the opportunity to the producer to be in a larger project that a farmer on his own could not afford. Um, speaking about the cooperativism, uh, the cooperative formula has certain specificities that characterizes, for example, these three are the most important of this movement. So the profitability of the parties Speaking about this issue, the, the objective of the cooperatives is to maximize the value of their member farms, which derives from their typical condition of owner, supplier, and beneficiary. So the member is the center of the cooperatives. Apart from this, the group value, the objective is to increase the effectiveness. Speaking about market success, but also the efficiency, reducing costs through collective action, action that going to be professional in, in, a, in a whole. And the most important of these three concepts are the people. As you, as you know, the, they, they are very different from other types of companies because they put the people in the center of the, of the system of the cooperativism. Mm, um, why do we consider that cooperativism is a valid formula to undertake new business models in the rural areas? Well, from the production point of view, the cooperatives allow to improve the productive efficiency of their members. For example, through economies of scale buying inputs, through providing advice and through providing professional services to the, to the farmers. They are market oriented, adapting their members' production, production to the new needs and opportunities of consumers. They are, they are contributing to the rebalancing of the agri food chains, improving the position of the, of the partners in the value chain, adapting other value, consolidating the alliance with their partners. Um, but they are, they are also mitigation, working the mitigation of the price volatility. They try to diversify market risks, generating reserves that can be used in crisis situation, etc. Um, of course, they have an inter international projection, seizing opportunities in emerging markets, diversifying customer, customer sorry. They are diversifying uh, markets, etc. And of course, they are working every day, focusing on innovation, allowing partners to participate and taking advantage of innovation. These issues through European projects, through local projects, but always uh, working of, in the joint innovation. So in this way, uh, Cooperatives are seeing market challenge, this all market challenge previously explained it, like an opportunity. And we are working hard to move from a linear model to a circular model, uh, but also giving value to these steps of putting cooperation as a solution. Thus, we have interesting success stories that have been able to undertake new business models for the revitalization of rural areas. And just to finish, uh, speaking about uh, cooperation or cooperative uh, as a solution, we can show you some interesting examples in different areas. For example, focusing on the areas of Rubino project in terms of food, we have interesting experiences uh, related to the soft food supply chains, like, uh, like farmers and CO, uh, which is located in Balearic Island, grouping more than 11 cooperatives representing more than 600 farmers selling 500 products from the island to the rest of the consumers and 
uh, focus this uh, experience in um, in 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 when uh, improvement the quality of the product showing to the to the consumer the the expectations of the of the farmers and giving to the to the to the consumers also experience experiment experiential tourism activities to bring the consumer everything there is behind it the cooperative vision uh, and the product of the cooperatives there are also some initiatives related to the bio basic value chains in terms of bioenergy but also in terms of bio refineries uh, uh, delivering some interesting products of, of high added value to the nutraceutical, pharmaceutical, or cosmetic, cosmetic markets, but also initiatives related to the ecosystem services, linking the, the, the food with the gastronomy, with the tourism, with the people in, involved in, in other activities in the rural areas. So uh, just to finish, uh, we have shown the cooperation highlights the joint effort of producers to revitalize real areas through business models that otherwise could not be carried out. So that's all. And thank you very much for, uh, for our participation.